I'm from South Florida. I grew up in New York and moved down here about six years ago. And I'm an attorney who transitioned to filmmaker when I heard this amazing story about an incredible hero from 9-11. I ran my business and practiced law, and part of the business aspect was banking. And my representative, Jeff Crowther, invited me to lunch. Over lunch, he told me the story about his son, Wells. On 9-11, he worked in the South Tower on the 104th floor, and he saved at least 10 people that day. And this only became known eight months later due to a red bandana. I was just blown away. In my head, I said three things in quick succession. What an amazing story. Everyone needs to hear this story. I want to share the story with everyone. I never read a book on filmmaking. I never took a class in filmmaking. But I heard the story and had a passion for filmmaking. It started out easy for me because it started out with research and writing. As an attorney, that's what I've been doing for 25 years. What was more of a learning curve for me was the sound, the lighting, and editing, and, and color. So I had to recruit the right people and work with them to get my vision on the screen. Going into sound room and adding footsteps, like bringing the film to life, that was just such a fun experience and learned a lot along the way. I always envision a male narrator for the film. When I broached the subject with a agent about a male actor, he said, okay, I'll bring it to him and I'll bring it to Gwyneth. Immediately I knew who it was. There's not too many Gwyneths in Hollywood. I was super excited, hung up the phone, and I'm like, of course you want a female voice. It's a harsh, raw story. You can provide some softness, some balance to what is otherwise a tough story. Gwyneth Paltrow read the script, thought the story was amazing, and agreed to be the narrator. I thought she did an incredible job of conveying it uh, in a manner that was respectful and poignant. My goal was to tell Wells a story in the most comprehensive manner. Whether it was 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or 90 minutes, there was no time limit. It just had to get right. I owed it to the Crowther family and to Wells to just tell his story in the best way that my creativity and intellect could convey it. The first time that the Crowther family saw the film, I was very nervous. It really only mattered what those two people thought about the film, mom and dad. I was worried I might have gotten something factually wrong, maybe left something out, and I didn't want to disappoint them. They've been through so much heartache that I could not let them have any disappointment. This had to be a good experience. There's an incredible photo right after it ended. Allison's got her hand on her heart and Jeff's got this smile on his face. And fortunately, they loved it. We were able to go to film festivals. They were able to receive an audience award. We went to Napa Valley Film Festival. They shared their story in three different high schools to over a thousand kids. We actually broke a Guinness World Record of most bandanas tied end to end, and we had uh, this incredible mile-long string of over 4,000 bandanas. I made this film for people to see. I made this film to encourage others to be better and to personify Wells' values. And now, with this platform, thousands and thousands of more people are going to be able to be inspired and impacted by Wells and his story. So I'm very grateful for this opportunity and super excited that my film was accepted by Documentary Showcase. My purpose in this film was to share an amazing story in a way that was educational, but also inspirational. And I was able to craft it in an artistic, beautiful, and impactful, emotional way that literally tens of thousands of people have been inspired by and continue to be inspired by. And how rewarding is that for me? Well saved not only those 10 people, but he saved 11th person. 
He saved me that day because I learned from him that I could do things that are bigger than me, that will outlive me, that have more leverage than just two people fighting in court, but that allow me to be a filmmaker, to share and impact thousands and thousands of people. So it's been a great journey and it continues to be a great journey. And I will share Wells' story for the rest of my life.